are going to be reviewing wear testing a fairly new product from it cosmetics and this is their your skin but better cc plus nude glow color correcting medium coverage skin tint brightening glow serum plus broad spectrum spf 40 sunscreen we're gonna find out is this thing oily skin approved in warm hot weather <music> If you're new here, I'm Christine. Would love if you would please subscribe and be a part of the Chicky crew. Also, don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new videos. A little disclaimer, this product was sent over by a cosmetics. However, that does not deter my review. You guys are gonna see how it applies, how it wears throughout the day. I have reviewed a few of the Your Skin But Better products, which I will link at the end of this video in case you are interested. For reference, my skin type is oily, very oily. T-zone, normal in the cheek area. I've been trying out this product for a few weeks now, but I have not really worn it when, you know, we're out and about sweating. It's a medium coverage, hydrating skin tint, brightening glow serum, and SPF 40 sun protection all in one step. A lightweight foundation that features 90% skincare formula with 2% niacinamide hyaluronic acid green tea extract delivers 24 hours of skin hydration. It actually says it's known to brighten skin, reduce the look of dark spots, large pores, and rough texture. It's available in 22 different shades. It retails for $42 and you receive about 1.0.8 fluid ounces of product, which is pretty standard for It Cosmetics, your skin but better product. Products. So I do have uneven skin and large pores on the nose, a very oily T-zone, but for this review, we are not going to be using a pore primer because we really want to see how this product performs on its own. And it does come with a pump, which is always a great thing. The shade that matches me right now is Neutral Medium. And all around, even for the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation, I am a Neutral Medium. We'll say though that the shades are a little bit different. CC Nude Glow does run a little bit more on the peachier side, neutral medium, and down here is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation in neutral medium. So they are different. On one side, we're going to apply it with a damp sponge. On the other, with a flat top brush, very light-handed with it. Just three small little pumps. We have a lovely little blemish. Let's start just pouncing it out. I do have on my normal skincare with an SPF uh, moisturizer. Three pumps, but it is extremely sheer. Go in with three little pumps with their flat top brush and start blending it out. This does have a slight scent to it, a very, very faint type of citrusy smell, not nearly as strong as the original CC Plus. Here is my bare face. Little comparison. So it is very light coverage, it's a lot lighter than what I normally use. So we are going to apply a generous pump on this side, like a full, full pump. Three full pumps distributed on the skin. Here's the side with three generous pumps and the other side with very light pumps. This is very light medium coverage. It also says that it's buildable. So we are going to build it up because we want to see how this actually performs. Start on this side. And don't forget to bring it down the neck. Here is our final application of the CC Nude Glow. Now this is definitely the coverage that I'm looking for. A little bit heavier on the medium side, but it's not completely full coverage. Like how it gives the skin this really healthy glow. You can still see some of my natural skin peeking through, especially for those days when you don't want a full coverage type of look. It hasn't fully set into the skin yet. It does feel very hydrating. I did a pretty good job of covering 
this blemish down here but we have to probably color correct with a bit of green concealer but it doesn't at this point feel heavy or thick on the skin even though we did apply a few layers of it apply the rest of the makeup very light-handed that's the look that i'm going for and i will be right back i haven't set my face with any powder but we did apply uh some shadow like light shadow liner lashes under eye concealer it went very light-handed with the under eye concealer bronzer blush we are not using highlight today color correct this uh, blemish ring concealer and a little dab of this there you go that's actually a little bit better and go in with a sponge because i do have some texture down here and we don't want it to enhance that area but the skin looks absolutely beautiful uh, from what I'm seeing here in the mirror I think it looks great on camera a light dusting of the it cosmetics bye bye pores pressed we need to set it we are gonna head out and I'll check back with you guys throughout the day time check is 2 31 feeling a little bit sweaty and hot because it's a pretty warm day today it do look really glowy but it doesn't look bad or like oily or greasy at this point but still going strong so we are back home from an afternoon at six flags magic mountain it is about 9 30 p.m so we've had on this nude cc glow for a little over eight hours we have not blotted touched up we basically left it as is it was hot over in valencia there was a breeze but we were power walking we were sweating and that was throughout the afternoon but i haven't really taken a look at the cc nude glow from what i was seeing just like from my camera it looked like it was okay but we're gonna deep dive and uh take a real close look at it pretty good it looks very glowy preferred the glow earlier of course within like the first half of the day because that's when it still is the freshest we don't really have it bunching up by the nose area which is good however on the areas where i have a lot of texture which is right down here by the chin didn't realize it looked this bad oh my gosh was i walking around with it looking like this i mean that is pretty bad let's actually do the little test we're gonna take this revlon oil blotting ruler where it looked cakey we are just gonna powder up a little bit to see how it looks once we do a little touch up but to be very honest if i'm at the park i don't really touch up the makeup something i have noticed about the cc nude glow regardless if i wear a face primer on the t-zone area the wear time of this cc nude glow looks impeccable especially within the first three and a half four hours but after that the way how it settles into the skin it actually brings out any of the texture i have going on on my forehead or like down here it just really really does look bad could be because it is a glowy type of foundation emphasizes things a little bit more after touching up the cc nude glow still looks pretty good it feels hydrated it doesn't feel oily or greasy it also doesn't feel like i have any sort of you know foundation on the skin which is a great thing and knowing that i didn't apply a face primer it did last pretty good and it's still looks pretty good on the skin but is this a product i would use during the summertime no fall winter springtime yes summer definitely not mix that in with summer hot weather it's not the best especially if you have that oily t-zone if you do have dry normal combo skin would definitely look into this product it is very beautiful if you have any texture like i do just be aware that throughout the day it could look terrible especially if you do not touch up so those are my thoughts on the cc nude glow what did you guys think of it would really really love to hear your thoughts if you guys have tried it out please don't forget to comment your skin type so we can chat about it really curious how this product performs on different skin types truly appreciate you guys hanging out with me today always always appreciate your time i hope you guys found this video in some way shape or form helpful if you did please make sure you give it a like subscribe if you have not already would love for you to be part of the Chicky crew 
Thank you, Chiki, so much for watching. Stay safe and healthy, and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.